five young men, all traveling a different road in search of the same destination, a spot on an NFL roster. Mitchell Trubisky, rated by many as the top quarterback in the draft, but he's only been a college starter for one season. Is he ready for the NFL? They really don't know who I am or what I'm capable of. I'm not trying to wow anybody, but hopefully I turn some heads. Jamal Adams' father, George, was a first-round draft pick himself. Dear old dad even won a Super Bowl. Jamal thinks he'll wear a ring, too. I'm the one. You know, I feel like I'm the best defensive player in the draft. I just want respect. Solomon Thomas from Stanford is flying up draft boards. By the big day, the defensive end is hoping to be top five. To say it's a job interview, trying to sell myself as best I can, sell myself as the best athlete, best football player, and best professional I can be out there. In the very first season of Hey Rookie, the Cardinals selected Anquan Bolden, a receiver some said was too slow. He's now ninth all-time in receptions. Most draft experts say Juju Smith-Schuster is the next Anquan Bolden. Man, I'm just, I'm just embracing today, like taking it all in. But I know in the back of my head, it's like things are going to change within a month like that. James Conner knows about beating the odds. After being diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma two years ago, he kicked cancer's ass. Tough times, easy times, you know, it's just part of the process. I didn't never looked at it like I was scared I was going to play football again. I just look at it as a bump in the road. I know it's going to overcome it. Now, he thinks he can kick some keister in the NFL, too. Be that one in 13,000. He said, whenever I'm ready. Hey, how many we got? Six? No. That was two, you had six to eight. Hey, give, give yourself another 30 seconds. Yeah. You don't want any of that, bro. What's up? That's horrible. <laughs> it looks like straight like, like oil. Delicious bone broth. There's chicken feet in there and everything. What is it? What is it? What does it do for you? It's just there's a lot of like gelatin in it, which is really good for your joints. It's good for your. It's good for a lot of things. It's good for everything. Like huh? Yeah, right. Don't when you get to my age, bro, you need you need every all the help you can get. Hi, right, Juju. See it. He may not be drinking the Kool Aid, but Juju believes in trainer Ryan Flaherty, who's helping him, Trubisky, and Connor shave time off their forties. He's got a very similar body type to Mike Evans, a guy I've trained in the past who was able to run 4-4 also, and I think Juju definitely has the ability to do that, so that's the goal. So Mitch, think about, look, look, so think about pushing your body th this direction instead of what you're trying to do, which is going that way, right? So drive out, big, powerful, first three steps. Big and powerful, get out. When it comes to quarterbacks like Mitch Trubisky, running a fast 40 is, isn't the end all be all for, for the quarterback position. A lot of people say it's not important for a quarterback, but it's important to me because I feel like that number is going to be there pretty much the rest of your life. When people search your name, they're, they're going to be like, what is Mitchell Trubisky's 40 time? And I want it to be a good time. Get out of here. I'm a robot. <laughs> James, you ready? <laughs> don't, don't even give me that, bro. Let's go. No, you're up. So go back in your start stance. Don't get so high on your, your front foot. Big, powerful, don't get quick. Big, powerful, get out. Big thing with James is, you know, the chemotherapy, the bloatedness, the weight gain that he went through with the type of drugs he was on. First, his cancer treatment, a lot of that doesn't go to help him in terms of his performance on the field. So much of speed is your strength to weight ratio and his weight is dropping. He's starting to get a lot more lean and with that, his speed is now getting a lot better. Everyone's running faster, wow. No, maybe it's just because, I mean, I know what I'm talking about, maybe. I don't know. I'm telling you, I know exactly. Truth is, the faster you run the 40, the quicker you could go in the draft. It seems like the 40-yard dash is like everything. You run a 4-3, you're going first round. You run a 4-5, it's like, okay, now where are you landing? It is a, like the main event of the combine, especially as a defensive lineman, I have to show my, my quick 10. I have to get out and show that I can get to the ball as fast as possible and get to the quarterback fast. I want to run a 4-6 or a 4-5 being banged up and stuff. I'm just trying to hit those times, and I believe I can. I'm looking forward to the 40. <laughs> uh, I plan to run a 4-3. Um, you know, it might be a little outrageous uh, for, for safety. Uh, people might look at me crazy, but uh, that's my plan, and that's what I'm shooting for. I want to get to a 4-4, you know, somewhere around that range, you know. I'm going to try to run 4-7, 4-6 range, but we'll see what happens. I'm trying to hit a 4-5. If I feel, hit a 4-5, I'll feel fast. <laughs>
What are you frustrated about? <laughs> you, what are you mad about? Your best time ever and you're mad? It's just, if you, but you, as long as you just, you gotta remember, you just gotta accelerate through the 25. What do you Before mean accelerate? You, I'm accelerating from the start. I know, but through the 25. So it's the fire alarm. I know, I know. <laughs> well, we apparently we have a fire alarm today, so which is unexpected. So uh, we have about a 30 minute delay. The whole school is gonna be on the field. Gotta be ready for anything, I guess, right? The players have left college, but they're still in school. For the next two months, they are cramming for the NFL Combine. I didn't know if I was gonna come out for the draft or go back to school. Go. After our bowl game, I kind of like figured out my decision, told my agent, and he's like, how soon do you want to be out there? I was like, I'll, I'll come tonight if you get me there. I made my decision right after our bowl game. I got out here January 2nd, and it's been nothing but hard work ever since. Get up. Since after the Rose Bowl, I've just been grinding. It's been crazy. It's just been, you wake up every morning around 6, 7, you grind. Be there for about two hours doing yeah. field work and just speed work. And then after that, we do position work. You know, I come back and I work with Coach Mack around 11.30. And then we'll have a break, we'll have lunch, we can get some recovery. And then I'm in the first lifting group, so we'll lift at 1.30. Come back and work at 2 again for my second workout. And then we'll hit our last little session, get explosive lift in, to get our muscles even more twitchy. And then eat again, and then get on the board, watch film for about another two hours. It's busy, but you know, it's what we asked for. It's been a long eight weeks, but it's been great. It's been pretty crazy. Training in a new town means finding a new place to live. My agent, he found a place, moved in about a month ago. It's kind of an upgrade from where I lived at back in LSU. It's really straightforward. You know, the living room, the master room. Got a lot of boxes everywhere. Really into shoes. This is like not even close to how many shoes I have, but I brought a few that I like to rock. These are gonna be the bad boys that I run and hopefully make my dreams come true. I'm, I, I plan to be and will be the best dress at the, at the draft. <laughs> Hey, we on the field first, Marshawn? Or the uh, weight room? Pop, pop, pop! Hands up, go! Get, 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 they need to put you at free, they can put you at free. Whatever they need. What about that strong? What about that nickel in that slot, though? Oh. Good. What's up, kid? What's up, big guy? Nothing much. Just in the car heading to Nectar, man. Headed where? Headed to Nectar. To Nectar, you mean? Look, that's a smoothie shop? Yeah, that's a little juice. Yeah, the little juice bar that I, that okay, I go to twice a, twice a day. Yeah, how did it go today? It, so. it, went, it went well. You know, we definitely had a you know good little workout. Well, man, keep working. Uh, you on the clock? On the we'll clock. Base with you guys. The most important thing is the fact that defensive backs and safeties are a group that everybody watches. Uh, they go last uh, on that testing uh, combine day on the field. So I'm excited to see uh, how you how you perform, Jamal. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put on a show. You know, I have to. Right. Right, okay. Well, right. you guys take care, man. Keep working, and I'll check back in with you guys soon. All right, Kay. Right. Okay. Good. All right, Kay. Right, have, have a right. good one, man. Yo! What's up? What's up? How you doing? Same thing, man. I say, you, bro. Banana berry. You want juice today, too? Nah, I'm going to get the juice later. Uh, but I'm going to do the extra granola at the bottom of the wow. cup. Well, I've tried, I've tried pink flamingo. That's about it. I will not change it. Which is so good. I'm pretty sure they get sick of me, honestly. But, oh yeah. You're, you're not getting sick of me yet coming every day, huh? <laughs> I come in twice a day, so he already knows what I order every time I come in. So. Same routine until I leave. Having grown up less than an hour apart along the shores of Lake Erie, Mitchell Trubisky and James Conner know each other's stories well. Being able to watch him and his story I think he's he's stronger than ever now, and it's a blessing for me to be here with him, and we're just pushing each other every day. There it is. 
Like Curry from the, from the three. You hear it. I don't even hear the rim. All you hear is. How many is that? Four? Five. You did not make five. Yes, I did, dude. What are you talking about? I made my last, I made one and I made my last two. I made both, I made two in a row from the corner. Oh, feel it. There we go. He's not gonna make no more. He got five. He right now we're tied. Uh -oh. That's crazy. <laughs> uh oh. I thought we was family. Uh oh. I thought we was family. Me and Mitch go back like years actually because uh, senior year in high school, we played versus each other. Good luck, Good luck, man. Good luck. It was a nice game. They beat us. Um, beat the five touchdown. My team won. James's team, they ran the a triple option. They probably could have gave him the ball every play and they might have won. And these three took a couple touchdowns on us. But I sacked him, too. I sacked him. With him at North Carolina, me at Pitt, both in the ACC, played versus him for four years. Didn't beat them either for four years. In their last game, Connor had 110 all purpose yards and a touchdown. This is Connor. Touchdown, Panthers. But Trubisky's five touchdown passes kept his win streak alive. This last year, we just had another crazy game that came down to the last play. Trubisky going to the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. And we were able to beat him again. So, <laughs> sorry, James. It was a different story against Solomon Thomas. Here comes a blitz from the secondary. Trubisky going down courtesy of Solomon Thomas. Jeez, oh man. In their last game in college, Trubisky got to know all about Stanford's big man. It was a great game between two really good teams. I didn't play my best game, but uh, I think Solomon did. It seemed like he was in the backfield almost every play. We had to prepare for a great quarterback, Mitch Trubisky, one of the top quarterbacks in this draft. I mean, it was fun to play against him, you know, throw him around a little bit. Here comes Solomon Thomas, and down he goes! There's the play of the game by the player of the game. He's a heck of a player, and he took the time after the game to come up to me. He's like, dude, great game. Like, you're a heck of a quarterback. I'm like, dude, you're a heck of a player, too. I'm like, I was like, is this the same guy who's trying to rip my head off during the, during the game? My, oh my, is number 90 a football player? I'm a different person. Like, you have that dog mentality on the field, so that's just how I am. I'm never going to back down from a challenge. I'm going to go out there and compete. Solomon Thomas has just two days before he leaves for the combine. Time to get the muscles loose. The real workout is about to begin. When do you leave? I leave Wednesday morning. Wednesday? I'm excited. I'm excited and nervous, so <laughs> it'll be fun. It'll be awesome. It'll be fun. It's like the only stressful part about this whole process, so yeah. longest lasting job interview. <laughs> it's crazy that we've been here for eight weeks and in two days and waiting for the combine. All this work's coming together and it's time to just put it to use. I got these for Christmas for my sister one time, yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah, <that's> funny. <laughs> uh, I've watched the combine since a kid, so it's pretty crazy that it's coming up and that I'm gonna be running in it. It's like a dream come true. I need to bring a good first impression gear, so like maybe like a polo or a college shirt or just a, something to throw over or something to, you know, if someone's on our plane because scouts could, or might be on the plane. Just always want to be prepared to not just look baggy or something. So on Sunday, it's time to run. You got to run like the wind and just show them how athletic you are and, and just go. The NFL Combine, the ultimate showcase for college football's finest. Years of work culminating in a single weekend. It's the world's most intensely judged job interview. So my flight was at 6 a.m. I got up around 4 and I'm excited. We're in Indy. Um, just can't wait to perform. All the work is done, all the preparation's in. I'm not expecting too much, just be myself, show everyone who I am, and go out there, compete, and, and have fun. Room for last minute preparation is hard to come by. A conference room 
or hallway will have to do. Next two, you're going to do two sets of five seconds, about 90%. Chest up tall, knees up, good. Reach back with your arms. And it's been crazy, just a lot of stuff going on, medicals, talking with teams, formal interviews and formal interviews, but it's been such a blessing, just excited to be here. Just living out one of my dreams, just dreaming about this as a kid. So hospital today, meetings tonight. Meetings tonight. Tomorrow, docs. Tomorrow, docs. I think weigh in tomorrow. Yeah, weigh in. Weigh in tomorrow. I don't know what time, but. Tomorrow's a good day for us because we start hitting curve. So now we start to wake up the body. Today, just loosen it up. I feel like I had a good chance at running a 4-4. Gotcha. Yeah. Low. Yeah. Low to mid 4-4 is well within reach. Yeah. Yeah. And just five, 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 I heard he was under four. Oh, yeah, he got a lot under four. Yeah, that's good. He got that. It's my specialty. It's cornerback. It's cornerback times. Sure is. Not for someone like that. Right. Two teams. Appreciate that, man. You got it. You got them all. Thank you. Yeah. Jamal Adams is ready for the combine, but not the draft. Time to fix that. Nobody will compete with me at the draft when it comes to dressing. I'm very precise when I pick what I wear, so um, this is going to be a tough decision, but definitely going to be worth it. Man, I'm all about being the best dressed, man. This would be really cool if you wanted to change it up. Um, no, I'm not. Yeah, I don't like that one. All right. What about this? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Nah? That's like Adam's family, like the old, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Dude, what if you even got like a light pink jacket? No, I can't do pink. Can't do pink? I mean, dude, Zeke wore a crop top last year, so I don't think anything's gonna be too crazy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Zeke. Slim fit, of course, right? Oh, of course. I can't come, you know, looking like AI. <laughs> On the inside, it'll say like your name. It'll say made for. Do you want to say Jamal Adams or do you want to say President Mall? What? President Mall. All right, I like that. Yeah. Look how dope those look together. We're making progress. If we do a turtleneck, we got to make the outfit like, you know, like super nice. Right, right, right. And that's it. Got to be super nice regardless. Now. No, for sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> got to be super nice regardless. <laughs> I think it's between these two. I, yeah, I, I, I love those two right there. I, yeah. I do. I think it's definitely right here. I don't want you looking. You can't. You can get a sneak peek, but I can't show you what I'm wearing yet. Down the hall, the Indianapolis Convention Center doubles as a track. <laughs> this has been my spot for eight years now. It's just a nice little kind of tucked away spot where we can kind of get away and just work on a few things. I feel extra fast on carpet. Just you feel faster, because it's like the walls are passing you really fast. You just look like you're covering a lot of ground. Want to run a great 40-yard dash, so if we got practice in the little back hallway, wherever we find it, we'll make it work. I'm not gonna lie, you look pretty good. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little weird. I mean, you got people walking by, watching, like, was this dude running full speed in the hallway for it? But you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, my legs feel great. Looks great, dude. Look good, man. You're ready to go. It took us nine weeks, but we got finally got <laughs> two, days, two, days, two days before we're fun. <laughs> you at the Browns yet? Uh, informal. How was it? It was good. Met David Lee, the new QB coach. He's cool. Where's he from? He's at Buffalo last year. Oh, okay. Everyone's different, so certain guys deal with stress better. So when you're, they're, they're stressed out about their, their official interviews or um, with the teams and the, the interview questions and kind of being on the board, that, that, that kind of stresses them out a little bit. So I think once they deal with that and they have that day past that comes and goes, I think they, they start to relax a little bit more and just get ready to just go run and do all of that stuff. Juju, how are you feeling? Good. You seem out of it. Well, I'm not mad. Out of it. You seem out of it. Are you thinking about something else? Yeah, no, nah, not, not somebody else. Your girl okay? What I got later. What do you got later? All these meetings. Interviews? Yeah. You didn't do fine. Just be yourself. Yeah. You're good, bro. Listen, listen. Uh, everyone makes this stuff up, the combine, to be a lot bigger than it is. It's more, more than anything, it's a bunch of football guys, get, coaches getting around to talk to you about football. Like, you know that. You know, you know what you did on the field. You know your plays. You have your go-tos. You know the defense that you ran against. You know all that stuff. So just go in there and be confident. Like, you know, you know who you are and you know what you can do. So just be you. You know what I mean? People like you. 
So don't, don't think you need to go in there and it's super serious. Just be yourself and go, go kill it. You'll be fine. Don't, don't, I think the biggest thing is when you guys take it really serious and they start getting super nervous about it is when they start to overthink things, you know? Just relax, just like you're talking to me, you're talking to whoever else, you know? You're good, you'll, you'll be great. We're interviewing for the biggest job of our lives. They want to know everything about you. I just knew that I had to chase my dream. We need one out of 32 to take a chance, I mean. It's all about being mentally tough. I'm up for the challenge. If you want to go high in the draft, you've got to ace the combine. It's that simple. Mitchell Trubisky knows what he has to do to be the first quarterback drafted. There's a lot of questions about who I am because I've only started for one year. They really don't know what I'm capable of. If Trubisky doesn't go first, Deshaun Watson probably will. He led Clemson to the national championship. Now uh, let's take a look at Trubisky, who we're about to see out there. Mitchell Trubisky of North Carolina, top quarterback on some folks' draft boards. Could be Cleveland's. 4-2-7, Trubisky outperforms Watson in the cone drills and is the fourth fastest quarterback in the 40-yard dash, trailing Watson by one one-hundredth of a second. He runs a 4-6-7, wow. Nice. I have issues with one-year starters, especially at this position, but his tape was the most consistent of any quarterback in this draft class, and he's athletic. Trubisky puts on a show. He looks every bit the first rounder. The only real question is how high he'll go. For USC wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster, going in the first round is probably a stretch. 12, front shoulder. Go up and get it. Reach up high. Sent hand flat on the board. Smith Schuster, 97. Got some sweaty palms, Juju. You nervous? No, I get sweaty palms like that on a normal. Juju has the size of a first rounder, but speed is the question for him. Cracking the four fours might change people's minds. A 40 time has been a huge focus on my training. They base it on the range of 4 3 and a 4 4 and 4 5. It's a huge, you know, game changer where you go and where you get drafted at. How I saw was just going in and just dominate everything I can. I like this guy here, Smith Schuster. He ran a 4-5. I think numbers are just numbers. I mean, when you put on the film and tape, it shows different, you know? One thing scouts aren't questioning are his hands. This is a big guy, height, weight guy. Didn't run as fast as I'm sure he wanted to. He's a good football player. Ike Taylor tried to teach me how to whip a nene. And really? Yeah, it just. This one's easy though. You just go like. You just do this. Yeah. That's you it. On that beat. Oh. Juju you know okay. on that beat. I think I got it. Oh, what's your name? Colleen. Colleen. Yeah, it doesn't like go Colleen as well. Colleen on that beat. Colleen, Colleen on, on that, that beat. beat. That's easy. Okay. See? All right. Cool. Well. That's your money dance. Uh ah. -uh. All right. Look, you learn something new every day. Just go that touchdown. Hit that. <laughs> Colleen on that beat. I'm excited for every drill. I'm gonna compete. Run as fast as I can. I've been playing football since 10 years old, so nothing new. The running back class is the deepest, and I'm talking quality at the top, and I'm talking depth throughout, but it's the best running back class in recent history. For Pitt running back James Conner, the road to the draft isn't just hard, it's crowded. In my way, I, I want to I get a 4-5. I think that'll be good for me. In your age group right now, you're the best in the world at what you do, right? So embrace that. When you step to the line, then you compete. James Conner was diagnosed with Hodgkin lymphoma. He's been cancer-free since May of 2016, and he just ran a 4.6 a here at the Combine. I wanted to run a little faster. I ran a 4.6, 40-yard dash. I wanted to crack the 4.5. But at the end, I'm a football player, so, you know, I, but I feel confident. Conner has never backed down from a challenge. Since combine training began, he's dropped from 17% body fat to nine. I had 12 interviews out of the 32 teams we met with and um, all, all teams that need running backs. I explained to them that if you want a, a mentally tough guy, physically tough guy, a guy who can get the job done for you, I'm your guy. Yet another day here in Lucas Oil Stadium. The offense is all done. It is now time 
after seeing the quarterbacks spin it yesterday, the guys who are paid to put those guys on their behinds, the edge rushers. Solomon Thomas is built like a top five pick, but he needs to prove he can move like one too. Four two eight. I love watching Justin Houston in D four. Well, you're built like Justin, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you've got the speed and the athleticism and mm -hmm. the hips and the feet and all that stuff to do it. So sounds good. Right, thank you, sir. Thomas does it all and does it well. He's top five in his group in the bench press, 20-yard dash, broad jump, and three-cone drill. In six. I felt like I did really well. Most of the drills, I felt like I did what I was supposed to do at. I just really wanted to show that I have food hips, that I can move just as well as anybody out here. Yeah, I know you liked Solomon Thomas, also of Stanford. He had a he had a, an excellent day as well. He made a statement, I'm a top 10 pick today. Right. That's how it should be done. Yep, that's how it should be done. Keep checking those boxes, Solomon. The defense is the stronger side in this draft, and man, oh man, on day three, did we see that stronger side show up. The buzz on the defensive backfield group is probably the best in 10 years. I think a lot of teams will be looking at Jamal Adams and say that might be a potential top 10 pick. Get the ball! Get there! Get there! I just want to be a complete person, complete player. Definitely want to show the scouts that I'm the one. You know, I'm the one that you should pick. Um, I feel like I'm the best defensive player in the draft, and, um, you know, that's my mark. That's what I want to go in as, and I want to come out and name that. I just want respect. The jump from college to the NFL can be overwhelming, but not for safety Jamal Adams. He's just following in the family tradition his dad started 32 years ago. The Giants select running back. George Adams of Kentucky. I was the 19th pick in the first round, and I want him to go higher than me, and I'm pretty sure that he will go higher than me. Sam throws a little lob. He's got Adams out of the backfield. Him playing, you know, in the league, it helped me in ways to guide me. He definitely, you know, did everything for a reason, and it got me to the point where I am today. I just shouted out to my son, letting him know that your dad was drafted to the Giants, okay. won a Super Bowl. Should we draft you, let's win another Super Bowl. No doubt about it. All right, yes, sir. so do your thing, baby. Appreciate it, yes, sir. From Louisiana State University, this is Jamal Adams. I'm looking forward to the 40. Uh, I plan to run a 4-3. Might be a little outrageous uh, for, for a safety. Uh, people might look at me crazy, but uh, that's my plan, and that's what I'm shooting for. Jamal's dad was the first round pick of the Giants in 1985. George Adams' son runs a 4.56 to start us off. And I'm sure he'd love to run 4.5 flat, but, but that's about where I thought he'd be at 214 pounds. That's a solid time for a safety. The coaches are raging. Do you feel that? Can you tell? Uh, Drew wise, I know I was going to come out and uh, own it, but um, I, you know, I also thought I was going to own the 40. It, it wasn't the plan, and um, you know, I just I kind of moved forward and set my mind on the drills. I really couldn't tell you. Um, no, but I was, I, your time was fine. Not for me. Okay. Um, you know, I, I, I did. Want? I definitely wanted to come out and run uh, low four fours, um, and that's you know kind of what my mindset was going into it, and um, that's kind of what I, I've been running and training. The Exos. So. Four five six is fine. Yeah, it's just I'm I'm I hard on myself. I like so. that about you. I do like that's that. Me. This was the start of your interview, right here, this week, okay? We're coming to see you some more, okay? We're gonna be checking on you as you go. I was happy with today. I think I showed what I need to do, and uh, it, it was fun. I'm just gonna go take a couple of days off, go back to uh, Stanford to train there, and uh, just, just grinding through this process. Now that I'm done, it's a relief, but I still have that 40 in the back of my mind. It's not over. You're going to live your life. You have to forget the foolishness, right? Everybody knows that, right? But we have to make our steps count. Make them count, OK? However you get in this league, it's a great place to be. But it is a privilege. It is not a right.
and everybody's got to understand it. You get me? So, uh -huh. With Pro Days a few weeks away, Juju Smith-Schuster has time to take a walk on the red carpet. I've been invited to be a part of the Rock Nation Grammy brunch. Red carpet, first time, dream about this moment, and I was like, I'm actually living it. You know when you're nervous before a big football game? Like the Rose Bowl? And then you just go out there, you just gotta, I think after like the first picture, like the first play, you just take it all in and it's over. You know, and then you just go with the flow. Juju's got California cool in his blood. He's a native of the Golden State, and it's helped shape his game. I grew up in Long Beach. Best thing about California is the weather is, is amazing. Uh, just being able to go outside and just play ball, have fun. He also knows how to take a star turn. At USC, he shined, piling up more than 3,000 receiving yards and 25 touchdowns. Touchdown! Got between these curry cheeks, all these Georgia bikinis, and try one on on each foot and see which one looks better. Okay. I never had shoes like this before. I don't know. I like them both. Hey, this is so tough. I like these ones because they feel more comfortable. I like the flashiness because all this sparkle stuff kind of goes with the chain. Whatever you're more, more comfortable with. What are you going to want to wear all day? That's not, the question is, what does Rihanna want to see? <laughs> Wants so, to call her and find out what she likes better? I think I might go with these ones. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cameras, it's crazy how they all say your name. Juju and Mr. Schuster, one back here again, sir. I think my steps are like pretty cool. You know, I took two steps here, five, two steps, five, two steps. Um, I am currently training right now, but I did go to USC and I decided to leave early and hopefully. Are you nervous? I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know who I'm gonna see, who I'm gonna what's going on. While Juju went for glamour, Jamal Adams went for grammar and math and all the rest that is old school. How you doing? All right, man, all right. All right, no problem, man. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh my God. How you doing? I'm great. How you doing? How you doing? So awesome. How you doing? You good? You're good. That's good, that's good. <laughs> is Miss Harrison here? Huh? Oh my gosh. She remembers me. How you doing? Are you doing? Everybody, everybody doing well in the family. Yes, That's yeah. My good. husband keeps up with you all the time That's too. Good. I've Fine. been his librarian since he was um, in Elementary. the third grade. third grade. Take a time out from your test. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I keep walking in on test midterm. days. This is Jamal Adams, guys. Graduated. How y'all doing? Man? What year? 2014. 14. Okay. About to enter the NFL draft. Man. Um, I'm proud of this guy right here. <laughs> oh, he was a sweet boy, sweet young man, very polite, very respectful, always. I knew he would do great things. Appreciate it. And here he is. It was very important to go back. I just love seeing the smiles on the, on the faces of the teachers and students, and it just reminds me of how I was at a young age. Thanks, bro. Appreciate we're, it, bro. Hey, we're all looking up to you right Appreciate here. that, bro. Appreciate that. So how y'all doing, man? Y'all good? Yes, sir. Y'all ready, man? So, man. You know, I always like to come back and, you know, check on y'all. Watch the people you hang around. Because the people you hang around is really going to tell you who you are. The, the, let, let's, just, let's just keep it real. The, the drugs, the alcohol, right now you in high school, even in college, even on a pro level, it's not cool, man. The weed, it's not cool. Put it down. You, you will never be successful in life, period. But you, you have to have a vision to where you're take, you, you, you see something that you want to go chase, whether that's to be a doctor, whether that's to be a football player. I always love coming back and, and seeing you guys, you know, prosper and, and grow. Y'all ready? Do you love it? Yeah! How you hit them? Hard! Team! Way. One, two, three! Hard. I know a little bit. Getting to the NFL is tricky. 
you've got to see things as they really are. Mitchell Trubisky and James Conner know being good isn't good enough. So today, they're working with Ben Roethlisberger, who just so happens to have the same agent as they do. After all, Roethlisberger has been there himself. I was telling somebody, I'm just excited about going to New York City. I've never been to New York City. I'm just really? Never. I'm just excited about doing that as I am about the draft. Hello. Yes. Hey, coach. Absolutely. All right, coach, thanks. The Pittsburgh Steelers select Ben Roethlisberger, quarterback, University of Miami, Ohio. For him to take the time to come out to our workout and work with us younger guys that are, are chasing the dream as well, it, it really meant a lot. To be out there on the field, you just feel his presence right away. Oh, you got to find it. He takes control. He leads. Good shot. You got to get at least two yards deep if you're ready to come back. And just the way he carries himself and, and the way he works. We're going to throw that ball on the front pylon now. Get out. Get your foot in the ground and get out and get it. Put your foot in the ground and get to that front pylon. That's timing. Good timing. That's good timing. Working with Ben Roethlisberger was amazing. Here you go. Bam. He taught me a lot of things you know, about how to get open in and out of routes. Yeah, there you go. You square it up, you got a little, you got a little. Yeah. You put your foot in the ground. You can put your foot in the ground like Le Le'Veon does. That's real good. For I me mean, to receive passes from him was, was awesome. There you go, now find it. There you go. There you go. One, two, three. Come to me, set it down, and break it out. Good job, James. There it is. Freeze the linebacker. Freeze the linebacker. Down, no, back up. The linebacker sitting in the goal line. Okay. You're going to stutter him, go right over top. Hard work has its rewards. And tonight, Connor is going to a gala to accept an award from the legendary Maxwell Club. This suit, I didn't even, this ain't my suit. Um, the Maxwell, they give you, oh, like, you yeah. just send them over your sizes. And so I just picked this up. So oh, it looks nice. nice. I'll make it look nice. Oh, yeah, first time wearing a bow tie. So <laughs> check me out. Connor knows how to look sharp. In 2014, he was named the ACC Player of the Year, beating out a guy named Jameis Winston. Wow. What an effort by Connor! You know, I had that mindset. I'm gonna have a big junior year and then enter the draft and fulfill that dream. Season opener versus Youngstown State, and then I just got a hit on my right knee. But the next day, I got an MRI, and they told me that it was a clean MCL tear. I was like, "How long is it gonna be?" And it was like the season, and it was, it was the lowest you know I've been so far up to that moment not knowing what was next to come. When I was rehabbing for my knee, I couldn't get the breathing right, and I was having night sweats, wasn't sleeping. And so I went to the ear, nose, and throat specialist to see uh, if it was like a sinus infection or something. And she was like, no, your sinuses look clear, but she let us get an x-ray on your chest. And then that's when I discovered that it was a big tumor attached to the heart. These black dots right here, tumors in the neck. That's all tumor. Every day, people are asking me, you know, if I'm going to the NFL, if I'm coming back to Pitt, and I got the answer today. Got unfortunate news. Um, just a few days ago, I actually been diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a cancer. Um, a tough break, no doubt. But Connor proved tougher. He started treatment almost immediately. Going into it, I didn't know what to expect. Round one. You get there, um, the pre-meds, and they, I got the port. Uh, mm -hmm. You know the scar right there? Yeah, dream, right. believe, achieve. I got that a year or two before. But it's just ironic, you know, that I had those tattoos right there. Well, you'll be ready for spring practice. Well, spring practice starts tomorrow. Oh, it does? Yeah, so I, I'm not gonna be going through it, you know, because it is, I can't put the shoulder pads on. No, and stuff. no. He couldn't wear the pads, but he wouldn't let his teammates down. He practiced through the chemo. I don't want nobody feeling sorry for me. Because you, you know, got cancer, me, you can't be at the workouts. I had sat September 3rd on my mind the whole time. You know, just that date, was the first game of the season. Chemo can save your life, but it knocks you down to do it. The sixth chemo treatment was tough. The medicine was just like taking a toll on me. But my mom was at the treatments with me. The support was overwhelming. and it's, I don't think I could have got through it without everybody. 
May 9th, 2016 is a day James Conner won't forget. Because on that day, he took his 12th and final round of chemotherapy. All good. Hello? May 23rd, doctor called me. He was like, James, I was like, what's going on, doc? How you doing, doc? Really well? He was like, good news, my man. And right when he said that, I was like, okay, I'm good. So we all good? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. And so it was like a thousand pounds lifted off my shoulders, you know, for me to be able to just be done with it. From the Tropicana Hotel, it's the Maxwell Football Club's 80th Awards Gala. To present our next award, the Brookshire Spirit Award, is Aaron Donald. You know, I look at Connor as a little brother. Um, just to see him as he came in as a, a freshman, to see the hard work he was, and I'm beyond proud of that guy, and I'm continue to see big things at the next level. The Maxwell Football Club is proud to present the Thomas Brookshire Spirit Award to James Connor. Where did you get your strength to be able to get up and, and go to winter workouts with your teammates? And how important was Mama, that? Mama, get up. That's my mother right there. Hardest working lady. Love you, Mama. She was in the car. We got some good news. Yeah, she was. She was in the car with me. And uh, she was there 12 rounds of chemotherapy. She, she never missed one. And just love you. Thank you for everything. Thank Absolutely. you. One more time, James Conner. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Every year after the Combine, an army of NFL scouts and coaches fan out on college campuses across the country for a phenomenon called Pro Days. It's the last chance for all 32 teams to grade prospective picks, deciding who has the right stuff and who doesn't. All this is is a mindset, man. It's, it's about your mindset, mm -hmm. that's all. You gotta enjoy it, you know what I mean? Right, sir. Enjoy this process, it's not torture, it's not that, you just gotta have fun. Mm. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's the combine, the all-star games, the interviews. Mm. After that, it's, it's downhill. Uh, go to training camp, <laughs> you know, enjoy the process, man. Sure, sorry. Have fun with it while you got it. Stanford defensive end Solomon Thomas wowed him at the combine. So his job today is to remind everyone just how dynamic he is. I just felt my click. I was like, you know what? This is going to be a special season. Sure was. Eight sacks and more than 60 tackles earned him first team all Pac-12 honors. And this guy can play with anybody on any team. Talk about a guy who's moved up the draft board. After every workout, Thomas's stock seems to rise. He's the kind of edge rusher NFL coaches covet. Like Ron Rivera, who knows defense. But his Panthers have the eighth pick, and by then Solomon could be gone because the 49ers and Kyle Shanahan pick second. Let's go. This is another day. This is another day, another dollar. I watched some tapes last night, pro day. <laughs> Ziggy also gassed him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to try to get it out of you now. Yeah. Gonna try to, they're going to try to touch your soul. Yep. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, give another kill. Oh, let's go, 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 let they worked us pretty hard, pretty fast. I just want to show them that I grind hard and that I'm in shape. Come on! Come on! Come on! Number one pick, baby. Hell yeah, baby. Hell yeah. How do you feel? Feel good? Tired, actually. Yeah, a little bit of trying to get after us. <laughs> It's been a great workout, man. Thank you. Sorry Coming to Philly, Mom says? Yes, sir. So, good. Oh, so we'll see you there. That's a good decision. I'm excited. It's, it's a once in a lifetime. So you got to do that. Oh, when I got the call, I couldn't say no. Oh, I was so excited. That's good. I'm oh, sorry. I'll see you there, All right. See you, Coach. Great really job. appreciate everything. The headliner in North Carolina's Pro Day is Mitchell Trubisky. 
Last season, he threw for more than 3,000 yards and 30 touchdowns. He has all the tools and talent to be a top-flight quarterback. But today, he'll need something more, patience. Because even though we may be the first QB taken in the draft, today he'll be the last Tar Heel to run through his reps. Had to get up early and then it was weird because we played like a waiting game. We were waiting all day for us to throw. Well. Waiting, waiting, waiting. You had to wait to play, you gotta wait to throw. You know what time we're gonna play. <laughs> the, the pace we're going at, boys, we could be another 45 minutes. DBs haven't even gone. I'm just gonna tell y'all, pump, pump it a little bit, pump the brakes. Trubisky and his quarterback coach, Ryan Lindley, have developed a workout showcasing all his passes. So 68 throws. Wow. 68, man, I love it. I mean, he can make all the throws. A couple comebacks, a couple of them just drop back, a couple of them on the run. Move it around a little bit. A lot of different ways to get it done. Trubisky's robot is pretty good, but his pro day performance is even better. Shot, bud. Shot. Hey, let's go. Use that right there. Let's get some momentum right now. Obviously, anytime you don't make them all, you, you want a few back. But uh, our plan was to make it challenging. Like, we didn't want to just be kind of a walk in the park. So we pushed him a lot. He moved around and uh, had some really good throws. You know, he, he worked his butt off, had a really good tempo, and then got after it. Every NFL team has a scout here, and their consensus, Trubisky is the real deal. Now, if only they could agree on his name. Call you're, me whatever you want. Call you me whatever you want. Your head swear, coach yeah, correct. I did that for my mom. I did that for my mom, and it's like I got teammates that call me Mitch. Mitch for was on six that. months, I've been calling you Mitch, and yeah. I'm trying to get it yeah. right in one day. The irony of pro days, of course, is that they occur on college fields, which is just fine with Juju Smith-Schuster. He grew up just around the corner from his alma mater. Man, I love I see so much, man. There's so many great memories. I mean, one part, one of the most historic, you know, seeing right here, you know, the first Olympics. You know, the first Super Bowl was held here. Just to be back here, it's a, it's a blessing. One of my greatest memories is uh, uh, in this spot right here, in this corner, uh, it was against Stanford. I basically ran uh, in route, and I caught the ball. So I'm running on that sideline, about to score, about to score, and I dive for the pylon, score, and I spun, I spun out, I'm laying down, I'm looking up. All I see is Will Ferrell. <laughs> We're looking over, we like, yeah! That's probably one of the greatest memories I've probably had. Like, damn, like, Will Ferrell, like, looking like, like this. One of the funniest dudes in comedy, so. So now we're entering our team room where we have all our team meetings. This wall right here is the um, Trojans of football. Trojans all in the NFL. Players who made it. You got Willie McGinnis. I mean, you have Keyshawn Johnson, Carter Palmer. The red means that he got drafted in the first round. Mine's for sure going to be a red. Hopefully I'm not, like, down here. Hopefully you can walk in and you can see me, like, at this angle, like, look, like, okay, there goes, you know, Juju Smith-Schuster, uh, NFL Draft 2017, round one, pick nine. <laughs> My number. <laughs> round one may not happen for Juju, but if it does, it'll be largely on the strength of his pro day performance. Today is the kind of day that can jumpstart a whole career. I woke up this morning, I'm just like, why am I nervous for? I'm not doing anything. But it's always like this for me. Before every game or anything that he's doing, my stomach is like in knots. Take deep breath, all right? It's a normal drill you guys done a million times. Let it rip, okay? Let it rip, not a big deal at all, okay? Deep breath and go, okay? We've done this a million times. Again, remember, this is your field, okay? Your field. Juju is satisfied with his 40 time from the combine. So today, he'll focus on impressing scouts and his position drills. Come on, Jordan. So what was your, what was your 40 time there? Uh, four, five, two. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm just going to do like the L, three cone, and the position work, call mm -hmm. it a day. 
Juju works hard, he trains hard. He's got the size, he's got the strength, he's got the attitude. Uh, so I think in Juju, you've got a guy who's got the kind of versatility uh, that you might be looking for. The ball never hits the ground. My mission was just to dominate the pro day. Everyone told me, oh, man, you, I mean, you, like, you did a great job. You crushed it and everything. For me, in my head, I was like, man, I had so much fun out here. I had like way, way more fun than I did at the combine. Have you thought about maybe being drafted by an LA team, staying with the Rams? I don't know where I see myself. Honestly, wherever I go, I'm going to embrace it, have fun with it, and just you know, live my career for the next four or five years, however long that goes, and just have the opportunity to live my dreams. In Pittsburgh, James Conner is trying to prove he measures up. He won't go high in the draft, but he has a belief in himself that might just take him far. A good pro day is just show him that I can catch the ball at the backfield, uh, run nice routes, uh, show the footwork, all the stuff that uh, the great running backs do. Just, just be patient out there, like just check down. Never play a little football. Go a little slower on my whip. Oh, you feel me? No, you got to take it. Yeah, I'm saying, you're saying I can get out. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'll give you time. Yeah. That's all it's not. Yeah, exactly. I usually don't, but all the testing is done. No more testing. Counting down the days. I think it's 30 something. 30 something till we see my future home. Good job. No, good. 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 The receiving game, is that something you really wanted to show you know, in this process that you can catch the football and, and make plays in that regard? Yeah, you know, just want to show that I'm every down back. I can run and catch, and I, you know, I didn't drop nothing today, so proud of that. How would you grade your performance overall? A bit? plus. <laughs> <laughs> if Connor seems confident, maybe it's his perspective. You see, not so long ago, he wasn't a prospect, but a patient. How are you? Doing good, how are you doing? Good. This is Sarah. My, this is my <laughs> first nurse. She did my first, like, six treatments, and so she helped also save my life as well. Aww. So. <laughs> Jay! Good, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Doing good? Yep. And this is Chris, and she did, like, Hi. the rest of my treatments, and so she always was helping me. I used to get real sick, and she always tried to find a solution for me, so she also helped save my life, too. I love her. I love you, too. <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time. People don't usually get out of bed the next day. There's nobody else that would get up at 4 or 5 in the morning and put a mask on and be in that beast mode, or whatever they, right. they called she it. She knows it, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Connor didn't just beat cancer, he made it all the way back, trading that surgical mask for a face mask. We were at the home opener. Yeah. It hurts. Yeah. It's hurts. Yeah. Everybody yeah. represent. <laughs> you know, they've helped me get back, so I was glad that they could share that moment with me. We were very proud. Maybe shed a little bit of a Yeah, we were tear. a little messy, but <laughs> just a little one uh -huh. there. Because it's something that's, I mean, it's an accomplishment for anybody. And then for him to finish his treatments four months before that, and to be able to run out there and yeah. do that was it's huge. Big deal. Connor celebrated by scoring twice. James Connor just would not go down. If you refuse to quit, you can go a long way. Just playing football again is a blessing in itself. You know, it's like it was a team effort. So I just can't thank these two enough for it. James did the work. He always thanks us. We tell him all the time. <laughs> Look, we gave you what anybody with classical Hodgkins would get. Mm -hmm. He he fought the battle. He put the beat down on it, and he won. He did all the work. Are you going to be watching Draft Weekend? I don't know how to Patriots. Absolutely. 
he's not black and gold, we're going to be bad. <laughs> but I'm a James April, Conner fan. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> whoever gets him is going to be lucky. Because that boy has the heart, That's the right. mind, the dedication. Uh-huh. He will... He will excel. It doesn't matter. Thank you for everything. Always. Okay, so thank you so much. Let me sign this t-shirt. Let me sign it. Yeah. Ready to. Good luck. Coming up. Appreciate that. Big day tomorrow, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was focused on the 40. You know, that was the main thing. I just wanted to compete. (laughs) With more than a dozen legitimate NFL prospects, LSU is among the country's last pro days. And safety Jamal Adams is determined to make the most of it. I'll definitely take you to my neck of the woods, my area. Welcome to MTV Creeps. Let's go in the weight room first. This is my guy right here. This is my guy right here. This is my guy right here again. He has a lot of guys. I have everybody is my guy. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I love everybody. Ready for this pro day, man. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I can come watch. Oh, yeah, you got to. DB coach, Coach Raymond. It's my guy. Go ahead and put your glasses on, Coach. That's, that's your glasses. Defensive backs. I always sat in the front. I was a front guy. I, I can't sit in the back. I can't learn in the back. You know, talking with my, you know, DBU brothers. LSU isn't known for it. is DBU. You know, this is some of the great defensive backs who came through. The Arizona Cardinals select Patrick Peterson. Defensive back, LSU. Tyron Matthew, defensive back, LSU. It's a pedigree that, you know, I wanted to be a part of with Tyron and Pat P and Corey Webster. Hey, man, I get a pitch one time. Hey, hey, LSU real quick. The list goes on and on about, you know, how many DBs have came through LSU. When Florida dared to claim the title DBU, Adams took action to set everyone straight. It's definitely something that, you know, we take pride in. So I think that's what separates us from, you know, others um, that so-called call itself DBU. Um, but there's only one. You know, that's what LSU, you know, DBU is about. So uh, it's definitely a brotherhood. Oh, man. Boy, you look great, man. Appreciate it, Coach. How you doing? Good luck to you, man. I appreciate that. Big day tomorrow, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big Big day. day. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do well. I'm going to do well. Coach, I'm I'm in my backyard. I'm good now. man. With your family. Oh, yeah. Come on, get another year with me, Hey, I would love to. I told you I wanted to, but. (laughs) DBU is a brotherhood, but Pro Day is a solitary pursuit. Gone is Adam's easy smile. Today, only one thing matters. I was focused on the 40. You know, that was the main thing. I just wanted to compete. It's been weighing on his mind since he ran a 4.56 at the combine. It's pretty good, but he wants to do better. What you, what you expecting out of the pro day? Honestly, bro, you know, just me running the 40 again, that's really just, I'm in my backyard and I'm going I'm to I'm kill it. So You're going to do your thing, bro. You know, even though they don't want me to run it, but I'm so competitive now. You know, I compete with myself. And then when my father told me that he ran faster than me, and I'm like, well, where is that on tape? Like, I did not see that. So I plan to do better, man. Uh, he, he'll do it. 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 Adams runs a blistering 4-3-3. I just want to stay low. My drive phase was the main thing that I fixed. Just come out here and do my best, and you know I did. You know I, I did better than what I was think I was gonna run. I didn't think I was gonna run 4-3 low, but uh, I just I just trust the process and 4-3-3. I felt great. Just wait, so three three. Oh, it's like that. Come on, move, yeah. move. Four three three, chill. Yeah, four three three, chill. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
watermelon and pineapple, sugar. Mix it all up. It's a Tonga drink. We got some ribs. This is my favorite dish right here. This is some one dish called a uh, fried pikaki. It's basically just fish that's with onions and coconut, coconut milk. <laughs> you gotta watch my diet though. Birth name is uh, John, which he's named after my brother. He's our only brother. My little sister, she called him like John John first, then that didn't stick. She started calling him Juju, but it was actually Choo Choo. That's how she she would pronounce it was Choo Choo. So she would call him Choo 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 Choo, and I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of catchy. So ever since then, it just, Juju was born. <laughs> My mom and dad, they always believed in me. Without the people I have here today, um, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. Just sitting at this table right here, you got 15 kids. <laughs> this, this people right here, this not even all my aunties and, my aunties and uncles. My brother's 49ers, my sister's Cowboys, dad is yes. Chicago Bears. You know what they say, right? The gods have to look down and watch the Cowboys play. That's oh it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Mondays. They have Rookie of the Year uh, this year. They're going to have Rookie of the Year next year. Who? Him. <laughs> 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 All my exes live in Texas. <laughs> I look like you're gonna be the first one in that water. <laughs> it's like, wow, this is real. Like, crazy real. I don't know, it just hit me. I had to pinch dad last night. I'm like, our son's going to the draft. <laughs> like, our son's going to the draft. It's like the whole process, the draft process is like, I to go through it. What you do so well is you try to live right. You train and then you do more. I love that about you. Came a long way in three years, so you see how it yeah. goes. So this is the mayor, my niece, and she is how old? How old are you? Two. Two? She's three. Um, <laughs> You're three. I mean, I'm more excited for him three. than when I was you know, being drafted. I don't know when it's gonna hit me. You know, I'm gonna be wearing my sunglasses because I probably, <laughs> if, I see, if I see him cry, I'm gonna cry, you know? Both Solomon Thomas and Jamal Adams will attend the draft in Philadelphia. Each is likely to be a top five pick. Do you know that this is on the Rocky Steps? Yeah, they told me, they said when you get drafted, you come on the Rocky Steps and change the commissioner. commissioner. It's really cool seeing everything come together. It's surreal, so I don't know how to explain it, but it, I can't wait. Is there like a, a top team you would like to go to? I really don't even, I really don't even know. Like, I just want it to be the best fit for me, right system. I mean, well, you don't have a choice, but whatever team picks you, then, you know, I'll be happy. Just hearing my name call, I'm going to break down, I'm going to cry. You start off with family, you stick with family, you end with family. And I decided to stay back for the NFL draft of 2017 to stick with my family here at home. And instead of my immediate family one, I'll be here with all my family and you all get to celebrate at the same time. I'm not an amateur no more, you know. While James Conner and Mitchell Trubisky train together, they'll spend draft night at opposite ends of Pennsylvania. I don't know what's, what's in Philadelphia, but we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. We're gonna be there for draft day. Trubisky is heading to the city of brotherly love. Connor, back home to Erie. I'll just be with my brothers and some other close family and some close friends. Philly's not just a tough town. It's also a football town. $10, which way? Which makes hosting the NFL draft red meat. Did you ever have a cheesesteak before? Never, man. This is my first time. First time in Philly. This is the most famous cheesesteak right now. But the city of brotherly love loves to boo, and no one is immune. So imagine coming here to get a job. So I'm gonna flip this meat and show right. you. Right. Now I'm gonna have you flip this meat. All right, let's do it. Just get underneath of it and go over. Football's biggest off-season stage is set for the players hungering to make their mark. The moment we've been waiting on. But this year's draft is unusually unsettled. There's no telling how it will play out. The only sure thing is that draft weekend is finally here. So good. <laughs> so really good. good. In the opposite corner of Pennsylvania, running back James Conner has opted to stay home in Erie, surrounded by family. 
It's just cool to see, you know, the youngest one, you know, learn the ropes and get through it all. When we were playing football, he was just kind of laying down. But yeah. <laughs> As the oldest, it's definitely tough to see him, you know, have to deal with everything he dealt with and try to overcome it all and stuff like that. But it's just, we're just all proud of him, you know? Man, I'm just trying to just get to the NFL. I know I can, though, it's a matter of when. I know when I get there, you know, I, my talent will take over. Just need one team to believe in me. You don't have to know him long to know Juju Smith-Schuster well. For him, family comes first. We're gathered here today in support of Juju. We're just going to enjoy this day and have a great time. I have a big family, you know. For us to travel to Philly would be a lot. Probably our own plane ride. You know, to stay home with the family is great. The USC receiver is expected to go in the first two days. At least that's how he's catering the parties. The first day, it's more of a, you know, the close ones. And the second day, it's be more of a bigger party. If it does happen today, you know, I might, even, might not even be here for tomorrow's, you know, the after party. The guys in Philly are prepping for a shindig, too. The NFL draft is a very, very unique situation. This is a culminating moment in your career, and these young men whose lives are gonna change in a matter of 24 hours. Expect the unexpected. Let's do this! Yeah, let's go, boy. <laughs> Here's the suit. Here's the tie I'll be wearing tonight. You guys got a little bit of Carolina blue in there for the school. I'm on the draft boards. I look at everything. I probably shouldn't, but I do. And it's just been, you know, it changes every day. So really, it's like, it's out of his control, out of anybody's control. They, you know, whoever wants them, they'll take them. I tell him to stop looking at the mattress. <laughs> I tell him all the time. Yeah. Stop looking at him. I don't, I don't, He's I don't tell you. I don't say yeah, anything to you. Better not tell because he doesn't want to hear it. I know that. So. Been playing around with this for the last couple days, and we've got some really beautiful tie options. You almost need a step stool. Oh, <laughs> I like it. I like oh. it. It's on the mirror. Good. Oh. No second guesses. So. Wait till you see all that, all that bling over there. Oh gosh. Are they gonna step it up a little? Mother. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the hardest part of the night. <laughs> Getting his dad got a shirt. We're struggling, but teamwork makes the dream work. Oh man. There we go. That is so crazy. I have never seen that before. Dude. You stress. How are you telling me I'm stressing? stressing. Tomorrow, you stress. Stop, stop. I want to double time, but I want to put it through the other hole. Take your shoe off. Yeah, I got to take them off. Take your shoe off. Y'all stressing me. Now you stressing yourself. Hand you them to me. I'll do it over nothing. No, I don't stress. Over nothing, man. I'm stressed. You are? No, he's stressing. He, he act like he getting drafted. You know, you hear so many, you know, opinions and you hear you know so many mocks and where people are going but at the same time you just you really just sit back and kind of just wait like that's all i can do is just wait um all, only thing i can control is how good i look on the red carpet yo man look at me man i got all the jewels look at my shoes man i'm shut man I look good, I look good, I look exactly the way you wish you could. I look good, I look good, I come on. Joe said that I'm the best in the West. I got the girls singing. Damn, look at how he dress. No need to guess, just bless my finesse. I keep him in a mess, all up in this caress. I look good, I look good, I look exactly the way you wish you could. I look good, I look People laughed at me when I said, you know, I'm going to be the best dress, um, but I wasn't lying. Just so people understand here, there are over 70,000 people that have come through the turnstiles here. Everybody here has this palpable sense of anticipation. Very soon, young men's lives are about to change. As they said, it's the biggest stage ever. I saw a picture of the outside from the TV. Yeah. There's people like surrounded. This big I saw pictures of it yesterday. I was like, oh, it's way too nice. That's what I just boo everyone every year, no matter what. My agent told me, he said, don't, don't be upset when they boo you. So they, they boo everyone every year. Even in Philly, the boos don't mean a thing. Not when you're walking down those steps. This is where a lifetime's worth of dreams are about to be realized. A 
while before we're talking that you could possibly be the number one pick. Have you heard anything? No, nothing. It's, it's been silent. Uh, it's going to be a big mystery. We don't know what's about to go on. And uh, yeah, so it, it's a waiting game, like I said. What if I can't hear my phone, bro? Oh, the light off. Yeah, that's Got okay. your ringer on? Oh, it's about to start. What? Ready it's to, about start? to start? Yeah, it's 8.01. It's time. It's game time. The NFL draft is officially open with the first pick. The Cleveland Browns select Miles Garrett, defensive end, Texas A&M. There has already been a trade. San Francisco and Chicago have flipped picks. It is now the Chicago Bears on the clock. Chicago trade into two. Hey, what, what pick did the San Fran get? What pick did Tampa get? They trade two to three? The 49ers wanted to move back to accumulate as many picks as possible. This might be a situation where Solomon Thomas goes two overall, but not to San Francisco, but to Chicago. What's up, baby? Is there hey, we're cool. We're cool. There? We're cool. <laughs> we're cool, baby. Hey, we're blessed. This would certainly seem to indicate that they have to go defense. If you don't get a call to the table before when Goodell goes out, you know it's not you, right? Yeah. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. What? All right. With the second pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Mitchell Trubisky, <laughs> quarterback, North Carolina. Mitchell Trubisky, Mel, a shocker, not defense, a quarterback. Thank you so much for part of you, man. That's Appreciate really it. great. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. You go play for a great franchise. Oh, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> My boy, too. I was training with him, too. That's, that's our family. That's family. Mitchell, once the trade happened, was there a call? Was there anything? No, there, there was no call. Uh, it, I didn't even think I was going to get picked until the commissioner said my name. It's, it's a dream come true. It's, it's as surreal as it gets. I don't know if my heart rate's ever been so fast. Man. It has already been an unbelievable start. San Francisco with the trade from Chicago is now on the clock. Oh. Oh. Hello? Solomon. It's John Lynch. What's up, Mr. Lynch? How you doing? How you doing, buddy? You want to be a 49er? Yes, sir. I'd love to be a 49er. Right on, buddy. <laughs> We're happy to have you. We're thrilled. And uh, you just have to move 15 minutes down the road. So you're good, buddy. <laughs> yes, sir. I can't wait. Thank you so much. Solomon, congrats, man. You excited? Yeah. I told you it was going to all work out, man. Y yes, sir. You did. You did. At least you don't have to move too far. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Well, hey, enjoy the night, man. You deserve all that you've earned it. And it's just start. You get here tomorrow, and it's time to go to work. All right, man? All right, dude. Congratulations. <laughs> With the third pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Solomon Thomas, defensive end, Stanford. So pretty, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're so awesome, man. Oh my God. Uh -huh. That's a dream come true, baby, right? Solomon Thomas. Nice. Solomon. Solomon. Huh? I can feel your heart beating, man. Oh my gosh. I'm so, I'm so crazy right now. There have only been three picks, but if you've waited your whole life for a moment, it can feel like an eternity. Hey, here's the deal. You gonna fall just we need to fall. You got me? You know what I'm saying? So we straight, we fine. Yeah. I'm good, man. Here are the first five picks of the draft. So that means the New York Jets are on the clock at six. Well, the Jets right. said they ain't gonna skip. Huh? Jets said yeah. they ain't gonna yeah. skip. You fine, bro. We good. Yeah, we good, man. Yeah. 
When I talked yeah. to Todd Bowles, the head coach earlier, the New York Jets, he told me this is exactly how they hoped it would work out. His number one player, he thought, was Jamal Adams. Ain't no way they skip on. You see that? I'm just saying, the Jets. Right, know, right. They told me. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. <laughs> What's up? New York, George, back to New York. Coach. I appreciate you. Back to New York. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir, I'm ready, baby. Let's do this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With the sixth pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Jamal Adams, defensive back, LSU. We did it, bro. We did it. We did it. We did it. Good job, boy. Good job. Good job. Certainly seems like that was a heavy sigh of relief. Jamal Adams going sixth overall, some 13 slots higher than his dad. How do you like this? I love it, huh? I love it. If I get picked today, I'm running out there jumping in that pool. <laughs> hey, if I get picked today, everybody got jumping in that pool. Yeah. Juju Smith-Schuster thinks he can make a splash in the NFL, but he probably won't get picked tonight. The Tennessee Titans select Corey Davis. <laughs> <laughs> to go in the first round, he needs the receivers rated higher than him to come off the board. Just one less receiver off the board. And I move up. The Los Angeles Chargers select Mike Williams. Yo! Let's go, Mike! Let's go, Mike! Yeah, Mike! With the ninth pick, the Cincinnati Bengals select John Brooks. Yeah! This is the fifth time the three wide receivers have been taken in the top 10. <laughs> we needed those three dominoes to fall, right? And then you're like, to be the next man up. This is falling in very <laughs> well for us, so let's just wait and see. The dream scenario starts to sour. 19 picks later and still no call. There's a lot of defensive players I know on the board. So, I mean, that's how I, I mean, that's how I see it now. His last hope for the first round is Dallas, and the Cowboys have shown interest in him. With the 28th pick, the Dallas Cowboys select Taco Charlton, defensive end, Michigan. I didn't end up in the first round. For those teams that, that passed me up, I mean, it's their loss. At the end of the day, whoever picks me, they're going to get the best out of me. Day two tomorrow. Turn around. Nah. No swimming. Not today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. When I get picked, we're jumping in the ocean this time. Thank you. Day two of the NFL draft can be just as sweet as the first if you get the call. Juju Smith-Schuster can't be sure his phone will ring today, but he has a feeling. We're here at Newport Beach. I'm just expected, you know, to hopefully be called today. After 29 picks and still no call, there's a danger Juju could slip out of round two altogether. I mean, they're lost. Welcome to the NFL Draft in 2017. Hello? What's up, Mike? I'm at home, man. Back with the family. Uh, hey, uh, you healthy? Yes, sir. Great, man. Uh, we interested in making you a Pittsburgh Steeler if you are right with that. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank hey, you, Jesus. We're, we're on the clock next, so um, 
You know, just sit tight. We'll take you with our selection. You do welcome to Pittsburgh Steelers. Thank man. you. With the 62nd pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Juju Smith-Schuster. I said Pitt, I was like, oh, let's just please, Pittsburgh still is, and it was. Since you see Juju Smith so happy, the last Pittsburgh Steeler out of USC, Troy Palomalo. Teams have James Conner all over their draft boards. The running back can only guess who may give him a shot. The New Orleans Saints select Alvin Kamara, running back, Tennessee. Deontay Foreman, running back. Kareem Hunt. That's going to be six. That's going to be six, running back to Foreman. The best place to get my part on the part on with a mom. The Pittsburgh Steelers select Cameron Sutton, DB, Tennessee. Yeah, bro, you good. All right, Trey, man. Good. They will get you. We're down to the final ten picks in the third round. It's easier when you have your own Crazy. James Conner, who had the devastating diagnosis of Hodgkin's lymphoma, as he potentially gets picked, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. How you doing? Uh, okay. I love you, baby. Yeah, I love you too. As the final picks in day two wind down, Conner is running out of chances. On the board. All right. Let's wait. With the 101st pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Hello? Brendan Langley, DB Lamar, welcome to the No Fly Zone, young man. Coach, how you doing? Uh, you'll learn from some of the best. Hey, where are you? You in Erie? Yes, sir, I'm in Erie. Hey, look, look, get in the car and drive down. We're not going to reimburse you for your gas miles. That's all good. I don't need it. Man, I'm just joking. <laughs> Congratulations, man, to you and your family, man. We're excited for you. More importantly, man, we're excited about you being a Steeler. Congratulations. You did it. You did it. You did it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm excited to go to work. I promise you, you're going to get everything I got and then some. Thank you. There it is. There we go. There we go. Now, with the 105th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select James Conner. <laughs> 